JFT just fair and direct. Okay, hello and good morning everyone. Uh, welcome to JOT Traders Espresso with me, that is Wonchowskis. Today is the 23rd of December 2021. So yep, welcome everyone. Welcome to this Thursday's morning session. Now, the reason why I'm doing it this way, um, I'm running it as a recording, uh, just because, I mean, uh, since the beginning of this week, I mean, we had, I, well, I had some issues uh, with the uh, streaming live, um, so uh, the images did get cut out a little bit, I mean, there were, there were, there were some images were lagging, um, and uh, yeah, there in general, the stream was not very good. So I think that everybody kind of experienced discomfort and uh, inconvenience uh, in, in regards to kind of watching my videos. So unfortunately, <coughs> excuse me, um, unfortunately, at the moment, um, I'm not capable of running the videos live uh, yet uh, from my usual spot, but um, I will try to do it this way now. I'll try to do it as a recording half an hour before normal normal time when I start, 9 o'clock. And I'll try to have it uploaded uh, around that time. And then, yeah, um, we could have the video. So, like I said, uh, first of all, of course, apologies for this inconvenience. Um, hopefully, uh, I can resolve it in the new year because uh, just to let you know that um, tomorrow and then on Monday will be the last video that I will be doing this year and uh, yeah uh, so like I said we will resume um, on 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 the on January 3rd yes that's Monday um, so yeah so only like I said for these like three days I'm gonna run the videos this way as a recording um, in order um, kind of uh, let's say uh, not to disturb or or to have a smooth uh, kind of flow. Uh, so yeah, um, before we jump in into the charts, as always, a uh, quick mentioning, um, uh, actually a quick read through our risk disclaimers. So yep, the content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in, in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. So, um, I'll give you a few seconds to read the rest, basically, and then, yeah, we can continue. Okay, so, now then, um, also, as always, before we um, jump in into the uh charts um so quick um actually mentioning of our jd youtube channels which you can always subscribe to in order not to miss any of our kind of upcoming videos and of course our jd bank website and specifically our jd research page which is also updated on a daily basis so yep check us out here on jdbank.com and click on the research tab right there on the top so now then jumping into the charts quick quickly so um i've mentioned this i talked about this yesterday i mean the of course but the the video stream was not very good um but yeah um looking at this picture here um you can see that yes we're climbing uh, we we already climbed above the 21 day 21 day ema and uh, we also managed to stay above the 100 day ema so now we're above all of the emas on our daily chart here and in a way we're kind of uh, going slowly towards that uh, upper side of the uh, potential uh, symmetrical triangle here uh, that we're having. So, so yeah, it might take a while until this can get broken, but um, for now, we'll we'll just like I said, we'll uh, monitor the situation inside the pattern. And for now, yes, uh, a few things are kind of leaning here a little bit more towards the upside. So, of course, anything can happen. Don't get me wrong, but for now, at this point in time. I'm leaning a little bit more towards the upside, initially aiming for that uh, 28,908 zone or that 28,000, oh sorry, 29,070 territory right here, marked by the high of the 16th of December, or in other words, the current highest point of December. Uh, Shanghai Composite, so um, nice push higher. Um, so yesterday I talked about this. 
as well and i said that keep your eyes on this downside line so yes i mean we had a nice beautiful uh, reversal here and uh, we climbed above this 3625 territory um and uh, yeah now we're kind of we're, we're testing this downside line we, we have a one more day left to, of trading on this one so the index is already closed for today um so yeah if we're we're gonna get a nice um pop here above this downside line then yes i'll aim for higher levels and of course uh most importantly we'll, we'll keep an eye on the european and the u.s indices um to see if those accelerate then or should say, yeah continue accelerating then uh, we might see the cash index here of shanghai composite also maybe uh open opening up um above this downside line now, speaking of European indices, uh, the German index, DAX, there we go, pushed above the 15,531 level. I talked about this area here, and uh, and yes, we also managed to push towards the 21-day uh, and the 100-day EMA. So, um, looking at the picture of what's right now on the cash index, let me just quickly bring it up here on my, for myself. Um, so the cash index is currently sitting at around 15,643.44 levels. So that's already nicely above all of the EMAs and above yesterday's uh, close. And basically what we're having here are some runaway gaps here. So, yep, um, if, yeah, we, we if, once we open up, I think that we'll have a nice little gap here to the upside. Um, and, yeah, so far the idea is working out. Um, I said yesterday that I'm going to aim for this 15,553, uh, uh, 15,531 level, um, which, uh, yeah, we if, we if we clear, then this could open the door to some higher levels. Initially, I'm going to be aiming for that 15,781 territory right here, marked by the high of the 16th of December. Um, but then, of course, if that gets cleared, uh, we do have the um, we do have the current highest point of December near the 15,834 level. So keep that in mind. If by any chance it starts drifting back down below this 15,531 territory right here, I'll take a bit of a neutral stand here, and uh, maybe it could drift back down towards this upside line. But I would rather stick to to a break of this upside line and then drop below the 15,302 zone in order to get a little bit more comfortable with the downside. So, um, NASDAQ, uh, quickly on this one. So, uh, yeah, beautiful move uh, inside the range. Um, beautiful move higher inside the range and, uh, yep, so far, so good. So uh, we pushed above that psychological, we met, first of all, we managed to reach that uh, psychological 16,000 territory, the one that I kept talking about, and then we, yeah, we cleared it. And let's see if we can go further north, um, because at the moment it seems that um, investors are kind of uh, enjoying the uh, the moment that um, although we yeah, there is uh, there is a problem with uh, Corona, um, some governments don't did not impose um, uh, harsh restrictions on on people and for these um, you know for these holidays um, of course that's not the case in some other countries but um, you know um, for now I mean uh, investors I think are are kind of pushing away the whole uh, corona thing and uh, yeah and uh, they're kind of focusing on the fact that yes the markets uh, can stay alive so um, of course, long story short, for now, I'm aiming for the upper side of the range here, near the 16,454 level, and then we'll take it from there. If it falls back below this, 50, uh, this 15,000, oh, or where should, should I say 16,000 mark, if it falls back below it, then maybe we could go for the lower side of the range. Another index, the dollar index drifted lower yesterday and uh, yeah, I mean, didn't really, it wasn't really a good day uh, for this uh, for this currency. Um, so you can see here we have DXY um, kind of falling nicely uh, below the 21 day EMA. So um, long story short, for now I would say I'm leaning a little bit more towards the downside on this one as long as it stays below that 21 day EMA. 
uh, gold. Mm, gold, of course, enjoyed the weaker dollar. That's a fact. And uh, look at this. I mean, yesterday when we were, when I was talking about gold, basically, but I think that you could not see the um, the video, uh, the image, uh, because I think it was lagging. So yeah, um, apologies for that. But basically, yesterday uh, we were sitting around here, and I said that uh, keep your eyes on this uh, upside line because not all is lost for the bulls. And uh, but of course we. We'll get a little bit more comfortable with the upside idea if we pop above the 1800 level and there we go so we popped above it and now it seems that we want to go further north i will say like this that as long as we stay above this uh, 1800 level i will continue targeting the upside if we fall below it i'll take a neutral stand if it if it breaks this upside line then that's where i will start looking at some lower levels and also this is where i can move my uh, breakout level for the downside now the current lowest point of um, of this week near the 1784 83 actually 85 level so if we drop below that then yes uh, we'll get a little bit more comfortable with the downside now jumping into WTI oil, so um, WTI oil is um, yeah pushing uh, pushing nicely to the upside, so everything's working out okay here. So what I talked about uh, previously in the beginning of this week that um, if we stay below the 208 EMA and the 69.47 territory, then we'll continue aiming lower. But if we uh, pop back up above it, uh, then yes, I'll consider a move higher. And there we go. We're near my 73.11 zone again and uh, this level did provide strong resistance again so if you're looking for some upside guys well just actually wait for a pop now because again we had our decent move um, when I said that if we climb back above this hurdle then yes I'll aim for some higher levels I'm still aiming higher don't get me wrong the only thing is that I'm um, kind of being very careful here and cautious in regards to let's say if we get maybe a bit of a, a correction first and then a, a push higher for example for Friday um, so we could see let's say this one uh, maybe you know drifting back down a little bit testing flirting with the 21 day EMA again and uh, and then kind of reversing on a Friday to the upside and popping above this barrier but again let's see what's gonna happen if it pops today okay that's also fine I mean yep no hard feelings there but um, so yeah um, long story short um, I'm still leaning a little bit more towards the upside but now I need to see a nice good strong push above that 73.11 zone um, Ripple, uh, so we've, I, I talked about Ripple yesterday, but again, also the same problem with the visual. Um, but um, yeah, so far, everything's looking quite positive here. I mean, we've tested that, um, that psychological one zone which did provide very good uh, resistance and uh, yeah so now what else what's next I mean well basically if um, if we do clear that 1.0170 uh, or even the 1.03 level if we clear that that 1.03 level is the high of the 30th of November um, the 1.0170 or uh, maybe even I think it's closer to the 1.02 territory. That's uh, the high, the current highest point of December. Um, let me just actually mark that one instead. So that's the current highest point of December. Um, so if we clear this area, then yes, I'll go for some higher levels. For now, yes, I'm leaning still to, towards the upside. But given that we already had uh, a bit of a move here, um, I would like to see a clear break through this area right here first. Because what could happen, we could see maybe a hold up here and then a drift back down, maybe test of the 21 day EMA and then a reversal to the upside. So I'm just kind of trying to be a little bit on the cautious side. Now jumping into a few pairs of D and ZD. So continues to uh, move alongside the upper side of the uh, rising channel here. So yeah, everything's kind of working out nicely here according to the plan. Um, now the, I talked about the potential maybe uh, retracement here yesterday, but as you can see so far is just climbing higher, but it's climbing uh, alongside this upper side of the rising channel so which means that uh, at the moment that everything is t quite technical it's uh, supporting yes uh, 
um, it's, um, I wouldn't say supporting actually, but, um, it's the holding the, the, the rate, uh, the upper side is holding the rate from moving, uh, a little bit, let's say more strongly to the upside. But what more, what's more important here, we're approaching this, uh, highest point of October now near the 1.06, uh, 12. Now I, in a way, uh, what could happen here as well is let's say if we get closer and closer to it, um, and even if we, let's say, move alongside this uh, or slightly below the upper side of the rising channel, then if we um, pop above this barrier here, then yes, I mean, we could even see a stronger move. I mean, maybe we'll ignore this rising channel and just move to the upsides sharply. So keep that in mind. Um, of course, um, of course, at the same time, we're also considering a possible, maybe a small retracement back down here and uh, uh, maybe a test of the 208 EMA. So I would say at this point, although as, as much as I like this pair, um, I will, I will um, just stay out of it for now and just kind of observe the price action just because, um, like I said, it's very kind of unclear right now. I mean, we're close very close to the a certain uh, level um, but at the same time we're struggling to kind of move sharply to that level and uh, maybe a bit of a setback could be possible as well so usdchf very quickly on this one so we managed to break the upside line it talked about this in one of my videos uh, this week and there we go so um, we broke the upside line but we're still below this hurdle, the 0 0.9185 territory right here. So, uh, which coincides with the 200 day EMA as well. So we're need, we need that uh, break bef below that area in order to uh, get a little bit more comfortable with lower levels. For now, just observing it. Uh, yes, um, leaning slightly to the downside. However, I need that uh, confirmation uh, break first. Uh, GBP USD very quickly on this one. And and uh, yeah, GBPUSD is looking quite interesting here. Um, <clears throat> uh, so, yep, it's looking quite positive. Of course, uh, the fact that the um, DXY is, is in, it's kind of on the lower side right now and everything's kind of working out well here for the um, for this pair. However, don't rush into anything yet because basically at the moment we're just seeing kind of a pair oscillating around its 21 day EMA and kind of stuck in between these two levels. So uh, let's not let's see if this is not going to end up being something of a range here for, for a, a while. Um, but if it pops up and stays above that 1.3375 territory then yes we could continue aiming higher uh, where our next target could be this 1.3514.15 zone approximately around there and then we will take it from there. Uh, GBPCHF now here we have also a nice good push back uh, above this upside line and uh, yep this is where the line was a bit tentative so we can get rid of it um, yep uh, get rid of it there we go um, and uh, yeah but What's most important, more important is that 1.2279 level, the one that I talked about previously, is providing still that good resistance. So if you're looking for some upside, then well, wait at least for a better move above this barrier. And then, yes, we could go slowly uh, aiming for the upside. My next target will be this one, the 1.2359. And of course, I'll take it from there. If it clears that, then yeah, we could go for the upside. Now, another thing, of course, uh, some of you might uh, draw this as well so this align right here so basically you can see that um, we have this downside line here it's a, it's also a tentative one and uh, uh, we have this downside line so in a way if you're looking for a little bit more reassurance then you could wait for a break of this downside line here uh, because for example the the kind of the scenario here could look something like this that we could pop back above this 1.2279 area we could go a little bit higher test the downside line stall near it uh, flirt with it and uh, maybe then uh, it, we could see a bit of a drift back down here maybe some some of you might have your stop losses already here placed you know and uh, the, those might get uh, triggered and then after it let's say a day or two we have this explosion to the upside so I mean we've seen these these scenarios happening so let's be very careful <clears throat> and always have your stop loss in place uh, Eurocad very quickly on this one so this one's 
as much as I like it, um, it's it's a mess uh, because again, uh, looking at this, we've traveled higher, we've cleared this barrier right here, this 1.44, 1.4554 level. Uh, we jumped above it uh, this week. We, it, it was everything was looking quite promising but as you can see now we're back below this hurdle so um, if oil continues to accelerate well i mean we could see eurocad dropping nicely here to the downside so keep that in mind guys and if you remember what i talked about oil there is some potential for this one to move higher <clears throat> however let's uh, let's watch these two simul uh, simultaneously and yeah <clears throat> and then we'll take it from there so now, if I'm looking for the upside, well, um, to be honest, I would like to see maybe a break of uh, this little short-term uh, downside resistance line uh, taken from the high of the 20th of December, and then yes, we could go for some uh, for some higher levels. So yeah, that's my kind of game plan for the upside. For uh, but let's say if it somehow met continues to trade below the 1.4554 and the 100 day EMA here shown as the shown as the green line then yes we could maybe consider a bit of a move lower and if, especially if the uh, if oil uh, jumps higher and finally your USD guys uh, so here still in range but uh, yeah we're moving nicely towards the upper side of the range so this is where it's going to become where very interesting can we break the upper side now we're back above the 21 day ema so that's good news for the buyers um can we cool kind of clear clear this area well let's wait and see because if we do clear this area this opens up the door for a larger correction to the upside because we are uh trading still below this downside resistance line taken from the high of the first of June so keep that in mind guys um, if of course if the upper side of the range here holds and, and then we fall back below the 21 day EMA I'm gonna be aiming for the lower side of this range so guys that's it for this session uh, once again apologies for running this live just because like I said I, I, I think that my um, broadband speed is not um, is not the best and uh, well it seems that yeah uh, issues might continue to arise so that's the reason why i've done the recording i hope this helps um so yeah guys uh, thank you very much for well uh, if you if you were watching this then yes thank you very much for watching this i really appreciate you and i really appreciate your patience hopefully um uh, soon i will be able to uh, get back to running these live but um at the moment on yeah tomorrow and on monday i will still do these as a recording and i'll throw i'll try to throw them uh, throw them out on well around nine o'clock so that uh yeah it would be available then um okay guys thank you very much for watching this and i'll see you later bye bye